Welcome to West Beam's Nirabup factory and iDoris manufacturing line, located right here in Perth, WA. I'm Cathy Morris, General Manager of Manufacturing at West Beam, responsible for all of the operations here in Nirabup, together with quality and resource management as well. I'd like you to join me now as I take you down our iJoyce line to show you how we produce our iJoyce and deliver to you right across Australia. Our iJoyce is manufactured using LVL for the flange material made right here in WA at our Nirabup LVL manufacturing plant. As a result, we have an endless supply of LVL for the iJoyce line. The middle of the eye joist has a web, and that web is made from oriented strand board. Each flange that is used on the eye joist is ripped into two sections from a single stick. So we have two identical sections for the top and the bottom of the flange. At the same time, a groove is ripped into the, joy, the flange as it comes through our first saw, which is the rec saw. Essentially, the eye beam is line is a, a mixture of four different saw systems together with a gluing system. So the first saw, the rec saw, very critical in the process as it splits the flange in half and as it puts that groove in, that, that groove is very accurately dimensioned to be able to give an exact mating match to the web further down in the process. To do that, we use diamond tip cutters to get a really precise finish to our groove. So from here, we move down the line, we'll start to see some of the other saws involved in the process. Two of our next saws are involved with the, uh, the web production. The first one, we rip our web into smaller sheets. The sheets are coming at 2.4 meters long, we rip them down to smaller sections, the right size to use through the middle of the web, depending on the height of our joist that we're actually manufacturing. From there, we then go into the Torweji saw, which is our next saw along the way. The Torweji saw provides the profiling on the web to match exactly to the profiling that we have put into the flange. Giving you an example over here, we profile both sides of any piece of web and both sides of the actual web where it's going into the, into the uh, flange need to be profiled. Again, this is an incredibly critical profile with an angle that must precisely match the angle of the, of the LVO that is used in the flange. To do that again, we're using diamond tip cutters on our Torweji saws and very critically measuring and confirming those angles on the, on the flange and the whip. The next part of our process involves putting the glue into that uh, web flange joint. The glue that we use on our, our joist line is a mixture of a resin and a hardener. The hardener allows the resin to cure quite quickly in the process. We will insert our glue using a little glue gun head into the flange groove and from there we then put the web into the same joint. Glue is an absolutely critically controlled part of our process as well. We have an incredibly tight quality control process that runs throughout our factory. Every point in the process here is controlled through process control measurements that are taken continuously through the process. Measurements of angles, groove depths, glue curing times, volumes of glue going in, etc., glue temperatures, all of these things are constantly monitored throughout the process and recorded in our quality control system and further analyzed by our laboratory to ensure that we are constantly delivering a structurally sound product to the market. Once we have our glue in the, in the uh, flange groove, we then slide our web into it and slowly close the LVL down onto the web through our R-beam squeezer system on the line. From there, we move into our last of our saws, which is the flying saw, and that saw will come through and cut our LVL to the production lengths or the lengths that are required by the market. 
Once it comes out of the flowing saw, it goes into our nester for a short period of time where the glue is cured, prying to the beams being stacked together and then wrapped and packed and shipped around Australia. We have capacity to add as further two ships to our line, which means that we can make an excess of a million linear meters of joist in a month for the Australian markets.